All right, guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and this is going to be an unboxing of the brand new Novak Pulse Brushless Pro ESC. Now, I have never used a Novak product before, but I am venturing into a new project here at the RC Network, and this item, along with the motor I selected from Novak as well, is going into a brand new vehicle. Now, this vehicle has not hit the streets yet for local consumer use yet, so I want you guys to give me your guess as to what vehicle this is going into down in the comment section. So, um, kind of new endeavor here for me at the RC Network with Novak, but nonetheless, Novak is a huge name in the RC industry. Um, 30 years in the business of making electronics for the RC industry, which is pretty cool. They're actually um, pretty close to where I live. They are based in Lake Forest, California, which is also pretty cool. And of course, Bob Novak. Everyone knows Bob Novak, um, so pretty cool. Now, this uh, is their newest version of their race um, ESCs. Uh, this is the Pulse um, V2 is what they're calling it, and um, it actually includes all of their newest software uh, to make this thing just absolutely great. So can't wait to use this thing in my new project. So guesses down below as to what that project is. Um, now with this, uh, we're going to unbox this thing, see what you get inside the box. It's always nice to see what different manufacturers put inside these boxes, and that's why I do these unboxings. So you can see, you know, does it come with the wire? Does it come with capacitors? Does it come with, you know, things that you may need to get your install uh, going? Now, a lot of us, unfortunately, have to use um, different online uh, sites to order from and it's always nice to get everything in your cart that you need to get your project going because another you know cart that you may have to purchase you know th that could be a week to two weeks for some of us to get those items in so it's always nice to see what you get inside the box and kind of go from there so right here um, you know it pretty much has the uh, picture of the Novak Pulse right up there which is pretty cool I can't wait to see it it almost looks like it's a see-through bottom which I'm very curious as to what it looks like. Now their Pulse V2 uh, firmware, their Super, tun Super Tuner firmware, um, has the new brake power setting, built-in power capacitors, um, so you can basically improve the power delivery to your motor. So uh, this also is compatible uh, for all of you Airtronics M12 users, um, the super high-speed SSR mode, so pretty cool. I'm actually using a Futaba radio, so not sure if that's going to apply to me. Over here on the side, USA, always nice, uh, developed in the USA, um, and family-owned for 30 years, so pretty cool. Here's some of the specs here. Um, as far as the ESC, you are looking at a motor limit of uh, 3.5 turn and higher for 540 size, and this thing can push a 550 size motor um, down to 4.5 turn. This come with 12 gauge silicone wire, um, has all the other, other specs here. Footprint 1.16 inch by 1.47 inch and a 0.79 inch height. Weight 1.29 ounces, so very light um, weight, very small footprint. Um, this is a 1 to 2S LiPo only ESC, so this is not going to push your big monster trucks and truggies and everything. Um, 6 volt is the BEC rating on this thing at 5 amps. So let's get cracking inside this Novak. Got my handy Spyderco here. Let's get this thing going. Always nice to see what uh, different vendors put in these boxes. Like I said earlier, and uh, right there, factory sealed. Very nice. And let's get inside here, see what we get. I'm going to go over all the boring stuff first, and we'll get to that nice Pulse ESC. Ah, just like I expected, it kind of an iridescent bottom to it. Um, so right here we have all of the different owner's manuals. Um, so nice that they're giving a basic setup. And then this is going to be the track guide. So these things need to go in your pit bag. I always like to have a hard copy no matter what. Some places that I go do not have cell signal, so it's always nice to have that. Um, let's get the ESC out of the way here, and let's get some of these extras. Now, you do get a fan, which is always nice. A little Novak fan right there. Looks to be smaller than the typical 30 millimeters, so maybe a little bit smaller there. All the hardware, and then also the little tiny plug.
plug to get that thing going. In here, also huge capacitor. Now this is for your um, uh, receiver. This goes um, into your receiver. Looks like it has a receiver lead right there. Positive is marked, and this is just to uh, put a little bit more power to that motor. And finally, this is the bells and whistles, guys. This is all the extra stuff, which is always nice. Two sheets of um, 3M adhesive, about six zip ties, and some shrink tubing, uh, both red and black. And that's going to be probably for your, um, your battery leads, which is nice. Nice little uh, absorbent little thing here to keep the moisture out, of course. And it looks like we get an extra receiver lead here. This is a male-to-male. -male. Probably, I would assume, for programming. I'm not sure. I'll have to research on that a little bit more. And, of course, the Novak stickers. This is always nice. Nice to see uh, companies still give out stickers. Orange-powered, always nice. All right, so here's the star of the show here. Wow, this thing is pretty small actually. You know, it has the capacitor bank back here on the side, um, huge uh, fins right there, the aluminum fins throughout, and it looks like you have little higher raised ones there and lower ones. And like I said, kind of a, um, a see-through bottom. It has that orange see-through that Novak is known for. Pulse marked on there. Novak on the side there. Looks like right there. This is a full censored ESC, of course. That's why you have the CBA right there, or ABC. The um, battery leads right there as well. So very nice that they're marked. Over here on the side, you do have your sensor plug. Sensor plugs typically come with your motors, not with your ESCs. And it looks like they have a whole bunch of different LED lights in there. Right if there was multi-color ones, so that'll be nice as well. Other thing that's really nice is you can actually unplug your receiver lead, and that's that's why I'm guessing you have that shorter one too. This one right here appears to be about a 10 inch lead uh, from end to end. And the other one that was included is like a four inch lead. So about three inches of wire and of course the two male to male ends. So that explains what that extra wire was. Now you also get an on off switch here which is nice because it does have a uh, screw hole so you can actually screw this into something instead of always using double sided tape which is nice. Very large switch and Feels very well defined as well. Orange see-through plastic. That's always nice. Nice little added Novak um, uh, touch there. Now, of course, they use their. I think it's called like Super Noodle wire, or it's it's. I love this wire. Whenever I do my builds, you'll always see me use Novak wire because it honestly is the best wire you can buy, and it's actually not that bad as far as expense. So. Nice that they're including the blue wires for the A, B, and C up to the censored motor. And then, of course, their... Oh, Super Flex. I call it Super Noodle. Ah, that's funny. So, anyways, the uh, red and black wires for your battery leads. Huge leads on this thing. About a good um, 8 inches of wire. So, you can trim those down and get a nice custom look on this thing. Do you have a little uh, warning on here? Timing ESC warning. So, probably need to read into that a little bit more. But, very small footprint there. So, very nice should be awesome. Well guys, that's it for my unboxing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing of the Novak Pulse. I can't wait to get this in the new project. Hey, guess is down below. Guess what this thing is going into. It's going to be cool. But anyways guys, comments, questions on down below, and as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now guys. Over and out.